Hey everyone, do you have a Galaxy Gear 2 and it dies on you and you can't recharge it because the connections has corroded? Common problem? If so, stay tuned. Okay, everyone, it's time to do surgery on a Galaxy Gear 2. All right, let me see if this puppy turn on, if they have any juice left. But yeah, so this is uh, the charger. You plug that in and you mount that on the back. This is the little piece. Let me get rid of that. Ooh, little poppy things. So, try not to hit my little makeshift camera setting thing. All right, here we go. This is the piece. This little thing right here is giving me all the grief. Put that back in here. Now, and try this button one more time. See if she'll come on. Nope. All right. So, so that's the part is corroded. See that? All messed up. So let's open her up. Let me take this. Little connections out. There we go. Watch out for the pin. I gotta go kind of slow because I don't want to mess up the focus. Y'all give me a bad comment because, hey, you didn't have it in focus. I didn't see exactly how you got that pin out. There we go. Oh, I'll keep that in there. Kind of hard to work on this thing by looking through the camera. Remind myself where that go. That goes on the back. All right. So. Just make sure. All right. So let me get a closer look. All right. So. Oh, there we go. So these are the critics corroded parts right here now let me bring this whoops there we go put those side by side the new old now i'm thinking i work out a lot with this watch i i, I love this watch the reason why let me start taking this apart and then this is a tool, so you can see, so you can order it. I'll put a link in the description below and the link to the watch. Because this watch lasts, uh, had this watch for about four years, only had to replace this thing twice. So I think every year and a half or so, because I work out so much with it, uh, it gets corroded. But if you're not working out with it, uh, then you're okay. It'll last you a good long time. And it's a lot qu uh, high quality. I think you can get these now. General. Um, um, not aftermarket. But. Um, a genuine version. For maybe about. Like 100. 150. Okay, there's 
there's there's my connections my screws bad boy dirty so put put this in the edge right here there we go Don't want to stab myself and there we go. Woohoo! Easy. So you can see what's inside. This is inside. This is the connectors. What the old ones connect to. Get that a little closer. Y'all like that? Shouldn't nothing pop out. So that's that. Put this off to the side. Uh, remember this bad boy? Now, this is what it looks like on, in the back. That's what we're replacing. All right. Oh. Oh, this is where it gets crazy. Now, I'm going to have to be delicate with this part because it got some like, some kind of like sealant substance. So like when it's sweating or water resistant, it won't be coming into the components. So you got to be very careful. Pull it up. I learned the hard way the last time. Just be slow. Easy. There you go. It's coming. It's coming. Let me get a good grip. It's going to come off. It's going to come off. Ah, there we go. Woohoo. Now that's the part that's messed up. There we go. And just so you know, I'm filming this with my Samsung Galaxy Note 8 Plus. All right. Clean this up a little bit. It's not coming outside. That was some um, contact stuff for circuits. I bought at Fry's just to give me like a temporary uh, connection before I um. Now you make sure that you don't have no static electricity. I'm so used to working with electronics before, so I'm always like, you know, make sure you. Touch something to make sure you're not static electricity fied or whatever. Now, now this one's a little bit different if you could tell. Oops. This bad boy have a little thing right here that goes in that slot. This one doesn't. But it should be working just the same. All right. There we go. Let's put this bad boy on. You remember like doctor? 
a game uh, surgeon or whatever. There you go. Make sure that's in there tight so y'all can see. There we go. Make sure it's even. Even Steven. I'll see how that looks now. Oops. It's not hard, tricky. Ooh. There we go. Before, after. Yeah, see, see, looks a lot better. Put that off to the side. Put this bad boy back on. Put my little screws back in. Now I don't think you need to see me put the put the strap on. I'll just let you um you know what? I'll just keep it rolling. So that way you could see. That this is not uh, edited, and so I didn't switch anything. I know I was watching one YouTube. I was like, he switched it out. No way that was that easy. So, hey, wait a minute. What is that? Oh, okay. Now we're going in. Make sure all these are tight. Now this goes back on the bottom. I always hated doing this. Alright, get this back in here. Because if you don't do this right, it like it shoots it out like a, a bullet or something. And then you have to try to f replace it. So, alright, wish me luck. Here we go. Yeah. Uh oh, where's the other one? All right. This one came out. Put this one in. Hey, okay. I'm a real estate agent, not a technician. So, see, that's why. That's why you should always let somebody that is a professional work on your watch and on your, your electronics because they're professionals. Don't be the modern day for sale by owner trying to do your own stuff. But, of course, we want to see if we can do it. So that's what I'm doing. Seeing if I can. There we go. There we go. Get in. There we go. Is it in? There we go. Ah! That one went all the way in. See? Blooper reel. Try this again. This time, let's try and make sure that it gets in this time. See how I try to get out? I'm 
almost 15 minutes. Hope y'all like this. If y'all like, please subscribe. If you like watching my little um, real estate antics. Come on. Want to hear a pop? There we go. There we go. I'll get played with this one. All right. Now, just so happened, had me a little connector device. Let's try this to see if it'll come on again. All right. No connect. No, come on. It doesn't come on, right? So let's put connect this. And then this is so easy to put on. Just put this on right here and then see that little clip right there. There. Now it will start showing charging if everything's working right. And I don't even have to have this this long for it to um, come back on. All right now I'm going to turn it on. And it should come alive. Woohoo! All right. If you like this, please subscribe. Somewhere over here, please subscribe. Let me know. Now, it's dim because it's at 1%. So, you can see you can customize it. But once uh, it started fully recharging, it won't be so dim. Let me see if I can adjust the setting Bluetooth connected it it it's it recognizes my phone so let's let's see yeah it's not it's not allowing me to uh increase the um the brightness because it's only at one percent Try it again. There we go. It's alive. It's coming alive. Yeah, it's too bright. All right. That's me and my wife. All right, that's it. If you like what you see, leave a comment below. Let everybody know I'm your realtor pro. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Oh, make sure you subscribe.